Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I am Brian. Welcome back to Brian's Racing Realm. And, um, wait, what are all the, oh, that's right. This is the project. Brian's Racing Realm and Sigma, an offline NR2003 league, are working together to bring you the Sigma IROC series. This is race number one of eight, the IROC 100 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. You and what army? Excuse me, you and what army? As you'll be able to see here, what army is his last name? Has the pole in the number one car. How appropriate. Justin D2 in the 88. James Gunner, a wild card in the 32. That black and red top car. Atlee Weiss, another Sylvania Cup regular. Along with uh, Day 2 in One Army. And then Nate Newman. Actually, Nate Newman is the wild card. In those green top cars. The black and red top ones are hot shots. Let's go through this real quick. So, if I could figure out which camera I want to use. There we go. So, Sigma has three series right now that are running in this league. Cup, formerly Bush, and uh, the truck. their truck series which all have specialty colors. As the engines fire and they will roll off pit road. The orange top ones, such as One Army and Day 2 here, are the Cup Series. Top of the bunch. These green ones, such as Nate Newman here, and Lewis Trust, are wild cards. They actually won a race or a champ or uh, yeah, they won races and actually were given series entry as a reward for winning. These black and red ones, such as John Hagen here, are hot shots. These are one off race one off drivers. They can come back but as of right now, the plan is one race and they're done, but they're doing very well right now. The blue toppers. This one being uh, Daniel Palace. Our Bush series. And unfortunately, there's only two red, two red tops. Chad Chadwick and Andre Stefan. Along with a VIP car belonging to Slick's Fank. Slicks Flame. 20 cars. All going for $2 million in bonuses and a $1 million for the win. Half a million for the win. A $1 million purse for every race and not everybody gets paid. You and One Army takes the early lead. And remember, these are some of the best. The wild cards and the hot shots, we're not sure about. But everybody has a chance to win. One thing that those who watch my normal videos will quickly understand, these cars are running far faster than what we're used to. But they're also much higher powered and in much better hands. This is, this series is ideally what IROC was supposed to be. The best of the best running in in identical equipment. These cars 
and for that matter the crews, if we have to have pit stops, are at the same level. So it all comes down to the drivers. Notice they've all straightened out, all but the back, as opposed to the cluster that is most of the BRR races at the start. We are already on lap number five. You and what army has led every lap so far. However, James Gunner is singing in second, looking for a way to get in the lead. Atlee Weiss is in third. Nate Newman given the moniker Ninja Nate for how he handled the all-star race. Tyler Shankle, the winningest driver in Sigma history, Sigma Cup history. Luis Trost, the winner of the Sigma Rock and Roll race. Look at this. Gunner got pushed to the outside. Newman was able to go through the middle. And held the spot on uh, Shangle, but lost it to Weiss, who went on the far inside. At Lee Weiss and Ewan Watt Army constantly at odds with each other. This, both in the Cup Series, in the Truck Series, and apparently now it'll also be in IROC. Let's take a look at the back. As of right now, Daniel Palace, one of the Bush drivers, is currently in 20th, along with uh, former Daytona 500 winner, uh, Will Power, Truck Series contender Andre Stefan, Trevor Vane, another, another hot shot, our... Our uh, invitational VIP Slicks Flame, currently in 16th. I believe this is Jack Davis, another hot shot. Yes, Jack Davis, the 17. Detu's already fallen back to 14th. Wow, that's not a good start. Hmm. I imagine he'll probably recover. Chadwick, currently 13th. Fighting with day two. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This is Tatum Bergeron. Currently in 12th. John Hagen. Hagen has actually been in Sigma for a while now and has made quite a bit of an impact. To the inside of Hagen is Kellen Roach. Kellen, I believe, is one of the most senior members of the Sigma series. Running in almost every race that he's been entered in. And then there's Brian DeBlanc. Wait. Uh, yeah. The number eight here is driven by Al Bunch, currently running eighth. Wild card, Nate Newman in seventh. Danny Litowitz, currently sixth. I believe this is Pop Will Power and also Danny Litowitz's last real run in competitive uh, stock cars. Both, I believe, will be retiring. I'm not sure. That may I may have to be corrected on that later on. James Gunner, a new a newcomer, a hot shot. Of course, at Weiss, who has lost position to Tyler Shangle. In seventy seven, of course, you and one army is laughing and everybody fighting behind him. We are twelve and a half laps done with this race. Sixty five laps on the day. I believe a fuel run is 64, but I could be wrong. We think that they have enough, we, we're fairly certain they have enough fuel. 
However, we've been surprised before and we'll be surprised again. Looking up, you can see the top four have somewhat broken away. Then there's a little cluster of five. And then there's the rest. Which John Hagen currently leads. Bit of Sigma information. Hagen is best known as the, as the spearhead of the Chevrolet truck series uh, drivers. Chevrolet had not won a truck race it since the series began. Constantly thwarted by Ford, Toyota, and almost literally anybody else. I believe Honda and Subaru both had wins before Chevrolet. You heard me right. But this was the part. This was the man who got Chevrolet their first win, and he's just kept on with that success. We have a battle up front now. You and one army loses the lead in turn one to Tyler Shangle. As always, lead changes are not recognized until the start finish line. However, with this much of a gap, um, yeah. Lap. Lap 18, Tyler Shangle takes the lead. And one army is possibly going to lose second place as well. We've got the cup guys up on top. But you've got James Gunner and Lewis Trost on the bottom with Nate Newman trying to, get, trying to fill in that gap. A hot shot and two wild cards. Now the gunner has gotten in front. He's able to pull what army ahead. Trust will have to settle for fourth at the moment. Weiss has set, come into fifth. Battle for sixth currently between Nate Newman and Al Bunch. Battle for eighth between Danny Littlewitz and Brian DeBlank. Did I say battle? Well, these battles don't seem to last quite as long, but they're interesting when they happen. Well, trust once more. Ewan's not going to let him have it, though. Not right now. He's going to have to get back up, but back up may be here. Slowly moving back up the field. Let's look at the second bunch. There too was up near the front. Tatenberger has taken over 11th spot. No, 10th spot, excuse me. 
they do seem to be slowly closing either that or this lead these lead nine are starting to spread out a little bit more with every lap in fact most of the field is going single file regularly running just over 30 seconds a lap so straddling that 30 second mark on a regular basis very fast race so far we are already on lap 24 of 65 25 of 65 excuse me we have finished 24 Tatum Berger is stuck up high Kellen Rulich takes that 10th position John Hagen goes underneath just Justin day two to take 11th Chad Chadwick and Andre Stefan and Slicks flame for that matter have all managed to move up in the field though not very much but it's worth remembering even the slow cars in this series slow cars are some of the fastest available because our, these are the top of the championships these are some of the best drivers that Sigma has to offer back up front James Gunner looking to the inside of Tyler Shingle he has a push from you and one army At the line, Shangle had it, but he is up track. Atlanta, you can get away with this a little bit better than, say, uh, Charlotte or Texas. But it's still a challenge. Especially when someone throws it in like that. Calm it down, Gunner. That was very close to a wreck. Hmm. Hmm. Three cup guys. Two wild cards. And the hot shot trying to take the lead. Will they get around to it? Not this lap. Gunner just doesn't quite have it. Shingle's able to get in front and cut him off. Everyone else has backed off for a little bit. Then they're peeking to the inside. Going to try it again. And again, just doesn't have the same grip or the same feel that Tyler has for his car. That 77 looks like it's on rails, honestly. Granted, so many of these cars look like they're well planted. Atlee Weiss currently third. Nate Newman currently fourth. Al Bunch has come up to fifth. To say, hey, we Bush guys know how to race too. Act Al Bunch, I believe, was the series champion. Jack Davis not having a great day today. Again, it's still fairly early, but we are at halfway. In fact, that was lap 33. That was halfway. 
Jacob Shangle leading. Gunner still second. Weiss third, Newman fourth, Bunch fifth. And then Trost, One Army, Litowitz, DeBlank. And John Hagen filling out your top ten. Kellen Rolich, Justin Detu, Chad Chadwick, Trevor Vaden, and Six Flame. 11 through 15. Andre Stefan, Daniel Palace, Tayden Bergeron. I wanted to say Taylor for some reason. Jack Davis and Will Power filling out the field. Shangle has a gap. And that's because Gunner got pushed up. Nate Newman's not sure where to go. Decides to go high. Weiss is like, nah, I think I'm going to take advantage of this. To survive the onslaught, and now these two are fighting for fourth, third. Luis Tross and Danny Litowitz battling for sixth. Ewan Army has fallen to eighth and is looking to recover. Not going to do it that way, especially if you lose ground to Brian DeBlanc. Field is starting to spread out a little bit more. But hey, it is lap 39. We have been blitzing through this. That said, one lead change. And, we finally, and I finally caught the lead change as it was happening. So, I'm happy. This will be the end of lap 40, which means 25 laps to go this time by. The question becomes, when is it go time? You start trying to go now and see where it gets you before you burn everything up. Gunner sees an opportunity for the lead. He's going to try and take it again, but he just cannot get in front of Shingle. As soon as he hits the hits that wall of air, the 32 can go nowhere. And that's got to be a fr that has to be a frustrating feeling. You have a car that is genuinely fast. But it's at its best when it's a when it's a car in the draft. When it's pushing instead of leading that charge. Least to the inside. Nate Newman behind to give a little bit of a boost. Gunner is able to get on the throttle faster. Gunner will get to the line. 
ahead of Weiss. Newman? Okay, this is getting interesting. The leader is pulling away. Nate Newman just made it three wide to expedite this process. Forced Gunner higher up on the track and actually forced Weiss up as well. That put Weiss in second. Newman battling for third with Gunner. And Al Bunch right behind in, four, in uh, technically fifth. Charles is on the high line uh, in front of you and one army. Kind of uh, out of position at the moment. Danny Littlewitz, on the other hand, is in position to make something happen, but hasn't really done much all day. Brian the Blank hasn't crashed, so that's a good thing. Former co Chevrolet dr uh, driver. The Blank has switched to Volkswagens in the trucks. Hagen's still championing Chevrolet. But they were technically teammates in a way for the summer season in 2023. Everyone's fighting with everybody. And now we have a bit of a spread. Probably half a second, third of a second between everybody. Tross gets forced outside. With the draft and momentum is able to hold that fifth hold that sixth position. Littlewitz in seventh. UN1 Army is finally able to get back down to the bottom line, is able to hold eight. Over Brian DeBlank. Kevin Rulich throwing it into turn three to take tenth. There's Hagen and Baden. Slicks Flame, 14th, currently uh, scored 14th. Going under day two and Chadwick. Willpower, still not having a great day in last, but there's still 50, uh, 16 laps to go before this race is over. Especially if that's what happens and they end up going three wide coming out of a turn. Granted, this is Atlanta and you can technically get away with that here. However, I believe I said the magic word. We're not 15 to go. Now is the time where, in my mind, you got to go. If you have any plans of making it any further up the field, you got to be stomping on that throttle and making your moves. Gunner pulling to the inside. That was way, that was a bit strong of a pull. They'll hold position for now, but they lost a lot of momentum in that dog leg. And Luis is caught up to Jacob Shingle. Tyler Shingle, excuse me. Should probably consider putting first names on these cars as well, shouldn't I? Season two. We'll do it. We might do it for season two. Newman all alone in third for the moment. Gunner fourth. Al Bunch fifth.
Somehow Chadwick has gone as fallen back to 20th. Will Power currently 18th. Once again, the top of the order has slowly accordion back in. In and out and in and out and in and out and in. That fresh air is good for good for downforce, not really good for speed, honestly. They are now running one, uh, thirty-one second laps regularly. So I'm getting close to 32s. Battle for fifth here between Trost and Bunch. Comes a battle for six between one army and trust. Seems like if you can get out of four and have a decent run in two, you can hold that position on the outside. But we are at nine to go. My 57 of 65. Eight to go this time by. What do you do? And it won't just be the guys up front. It'll be everybody. Look at this cluster here. Baden, Hagen, Relich, Didowitz, Littowitz, excuse me, and De Blank. Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, with thirteenth, ready to pounce. Fourteenth is kind of there. Fifteenth through twentieth, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, back up front at Luis, still trying, but now he has company in Nate Newman. Newman takes third. Gunner might take fourth, except for the fact that Al Bunch has said, hey, opening. Thank you. Atley Weiss, in the span of two laps, goes from second to fifth. Al Bunch isn't able to keep it on the keep it running at full momentum. And is now making a rolling roadblock with James. With uh, is that James Gunner? I've been saying it all race and now I've forgotten. My apologies. Yes, James Gunner. Now, can Newman do what he did in the All Star race? For those who don't know, the All Star race was a bunch of different field gimmicks thrown into one event at one point Newman was at the front and the entire field was inverted it was a 40 car field and 40 laps later on the last lap Nate Newman was in position to win but was not winning with a dive in the last corner at Pocono Newman was able to take victory in the, in the at the time, NSSR All-Star Race. However, this is a little bit different uh, setup. 
Tyler Shangle is the guy he has to beat this time. And these cars have been set up a little differently, and obviously this isn't Pocono. He has two laps left to do it, or do anything. At the same time, Tyler Shingle looks like he can just floor it for the next two laps and be perfectly fine. Look at this. Will Power goes from 20th to 15th over the last quarter of this race. However, the field is quite a bit strung out. And it looks like it will be a fairly straightforward race. Let's get a bird's eye view and take a look at these cars going around. We caught the one lead change, so we won't have to show that again. White flag's flying. When does it change to checker? There it goes. And Tyler Shangle is your inaugural IROC champ. Excuse me. No, not champion. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Tyler Shangle is the winner of the IROC 100 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Nate Newman will come home second. James Gunner, the hot shot. Come home third. That might be enough for an invita invitation to the next race. Luis Trost in fifth. Al Bunch finishing fourth. And as we see the field come down, I'm going to catch my breath and make sure everything has been correctly maintained aka okay, make sure that uh, everything recorded properly and I will meet you back here in an instant with the full results that was a fast paced race that actually, I think that actually outpaced some of the uh, Camaro races that I run however race is over your winner, officially, Tyler Shangle. Nate Newman, officially second. Then James Gunner, Al Bunch, Luis Trost, You and What Army, Atley Weiss, Danny Littowitz, Brian DeBlank, and Kellen Rolich are your top ten. Eleventh is... Uh... Oh... Trevor Baden. Why do I want to say Taylor again? What is it with me and Taylor? Trevor Baden is in 11th. John Hagen is in 12th. Slick, Sp Slick Splane. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time saying that all season. 13th. Justin Detu, 14th. Will Power, 15th. Daniel Palace in 16th. Andre Stefan, 17th. Jack Davis in 18th, Taden Bergeron in 19th, and Chad Chadwick, unfortunately, 20th of 20. But it is the first race of eight. Points. Uh, take a look. At, take a look at this. This is your championship standings. We'll worry about points later. Okay. So if you enjoyed this race, uh, and you would like to join in with this offline fun. There is a link to the, the BRR Discord in the description below. There will also be a link to the uh, main channel for Sigma in the description labeled as well. And I may, ha may have a Discord, in a Discord link in the description below, but I cannot say that for certain. I'll have to work on that uh, in between 
now and the time that this is actually posted. However, that'll be for then. This is now. And I hope that you enjoyed the race. Until next time, I am Brian. Thank you for joining me in my realm. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. And I hope to see you again soon.